Hearthstone, we're a part of a larger community. We're a ministry of Wesley Life, and we really focus on being a campus for healthy living. So we have internal buildings. We've got independent living, catered living, and senior um, households for long-term care. But we also expand up beyond our walls to do home care and hospice as well. As a senior living community, people are not expecting households, nicely decorated, um, actually small living spaces and areas where people can really be at home. Um, so they come in, a lot of times we'll do a tour at the cottage and they'll say, well, where's the nursing home? And we say, well, you've already been in it. There's a lot of research out there. Small houses and household models are so much better for our residents. They do provide um, the outcomes we see, we see better nutritional value because we're cooking right in front of our residents. They're choosing what they want to eat. They might be sleeping in and having breakfast at 10 or getting up early and, and eating at 5, but it really is on their schedule and what they prefer. Um, so we do see better nutritional intake. It's also a smaller footprint than a traditional um, hospital setting or a long-term care setting. So the kitchen is closer to their front door of their room. They can see it, they can walk there because it's a, a more reasonable distance. So they become more functionally independent. Um, and oftentimes with the household model, you'll see that people say, well, they woke up because so long, if you're in long-term care, you do become institutionalized. So when you provide a home instead of a clinical setting, they wake up because they're more a part of it, they're more engaged in that meaningful and purposeful living. Hearthstone is a community of distinction, so we work very hard to make sure that our residents are well taken care of and have a high quality experience, and we do that by focusing on our team members. Um, we do want them to, to know how their role plays into the satisfaction of, of the residents and the families that we serve. Um, and we've been very successful with that. We've had high retention, 80 to 90 percent of team members that come to us stay. Um, and we're very excited that does provide better outcomes for residents as well. With our initial planning, we were really discussing how do we come up with um, local partners as well as um, that community of giving to help fund the project. And Midwest One stepped up and they were available to us. They had that same passion for seniors and providing for those that have provided for us over the years. Um, so they became our lead bank and our lead, our lead donor for the project. It was very important to us that it was somebody local and they had the backing to do that.